about another high school prom gig this weekend. Kind of interesting, they got a band playing outside and they got a DJ playing inside. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. Start here at front of house, SQ5 again. 16 inputs from the band. Stereo input just for some backing music. We are going through the AHM-16 this time. Figured that little issue out. Also trying out something new. I've got the DJI mic for my audio on this video because my audio has not been good. So I've already got the system tuned. I got a little bit of video from that I'm gonna put in. Did have smart out. QSC K12s for the tops. Got a EV ZLX12 for a front fill. Got my two ETX 18s out. It's kind of funny looking, there's no level spot here. And you probably can't tell from the video, but this is a pretty good little hill. Definitely a little bit of a challenging setup with that brick wall back there. Let me give you a little tour of what the band's got. K-12s, par lights. The rhythm guitarist is running a Line 6 HX Stomp. It's a Beta 58 for the lead singer. The other guitarist has got a Fractal FM3. I love this thing. I actually talked him into buying it after I had one. Check out this homemade drum riser these guys built. I got another video of them talking about it and showing you how they put it together, so keep an eye out for that. This is the band's rack. They've got a seismic audio split. It's going to their in-ear mixer, XR18. They all have wireless in-ears. This is my stage rack. It's in a really nice rolling SKB case. HM16 is doing all my system processing. This is just a patch panel I made for it. So I got left, right, main, sub, my front fill. And then I got the AR2412 for my IO, the SQ5. 16 inputs. These outputs are just being analog patched into the HM16. Now, I do have the SQ card to put in the HM16. So I'm gonna make a video about that. This is the back, I got PowerCon coming in. Everything's wired up nicely and bundled. I wanna get some blank vented panels for this. Get it closed up. I got a router that lives in my stage rack and I've got a wireless bridge that goes to front of house with another router up there. So that way I'm only running one, one ethernet between front of house and the stage rack. So power, power is super interesting here, and it's only slightly sketchy. There is, I'll show you here. There is zero places for me to get power outside of this building. So I had to run. We've got one extension cord here. There's my spare all the way in here. That is the only outlet anywhere that's reachable. And if you go all the way over here, those are the only two outlets anywhere in reach like the next one is clear over there so we have 30 amps max band lights pa subs mains that's it good thing is is i have these really heavy 10 gauge extension cords that are long so i'm not worried about heating the cords up the etx's are super efficient they're like four amp draw max each. I've only got two of them. 
K-12s aren't that much. The band's not run any actual amps on stage. They're all in modelers. So I'm not super worried about power here. Everything's coming into this ferment and then that's being distributed out to the mains. And the other main power is coming off of this one. And that's running up. It's just to this center ferment. These are pretty cool. These are just the normal little Furman boxes you can buy. And I actually cut the cords off, put them on power cons so they can be a little bit more flexible. Yes, I know. I have to get a strap on that before the show starts. So I'm actually not gonna be here for the show tonight. This is not my full-time job and I have to go to work. So basically what I did is I just gave the front of house guy a nice flat system to mix into a little bump on the low end and I did it all on the processor so if he wants to add any kind of EQ the board main outs are totally flat he's got all the room to do anything he wants so I'm gonna take you guys inside the other gym here and show you the DJ setup Matt from my last video at our last problem is the DJ and their system tech tonight so I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about their setup if he's got time They've got the video wall out. Looks super nice. So here we are at Parkersburg South High School. Uh, take you guys through our setup that we have in here for the DJ. So first up, we have four of the JBL 932 LAPs as our mains, two on each side. Um, we go right down to four or six of the Carbon LS1802 dual 18 subs. Absolutely banging. Um, we got a little center fill of a ZLX 12P there. Just that. Um, DJ decks are the Denon SC5000s. Got two of those in the X1850 mixer. Um, all digital, all networked and ready to go. Um, that's pretty much it for audio. I mean, we got some amps back there for the subs, but if you've watched the last video, you'll see what they are as well. They're nothing too fancy on that. Um, lighting wise, we got a bunch of lights up here. We've got four of the Rush MH1s throughout there. We've got four of the Martin Quantums. Uh, those are 475 watt LED fixtures. Very, very bright. We've got four of those. Uh, two of the Martin Rush MH2s for washes, or sorry, four of those. Yeah, two on each side. Uh, we've got four of the Rogue R1 FXBs. And again, if you saw the last video, you'll see those. So it's a very similar setup to last time, just a little bit different configuration. Um, down here on the bottom, you can kind of see these big guys down through here. These are the Martin MH11s. Those are beams and uh, very large fixtures. I, I don't remember the wattage on the bulb that's inside them, but they are discharge fixtures. They're not LEDs, so keeping them off for right now. A little bit of haze down there, nothing fancy there. Um, and then obviously the big thing in the back there, as you can kind of see, that is the uh, Chauvet All right, so on the back, the big thing that you see back there, the big video wall, that is the Vivid 4 by Chauvet. We've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 panels up right now, uh, all controlled all in the back there. And uh, yeah, video wall on a DJ setup is something else. This is really cool. So I'm excited to have all that. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire setup. Uh, it's big, it's loud, it does the trick. Yeah. 